Hello guys today in this video, we are going to help you to find out the best camera for video and market. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their quality, durability, customer review and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check our links in the description below. Number 11. Canon Vixia HFG50. Video cameras are amazing when it comes to capturing live-action footage and important moments. When it comes to capturing sports, getting the right footage can be difficult, so you need to make sure that there's proper camera quality and decent FPS when filming on a good camera. The Canon Vixia HFG50 from Canon is a great camera for capturing 4K footage and is currently one of the best cameras out there below a 3K budget. It comes with pretty good image stabilization which makes it a good camera for zooming in on certain scenes. It comes with 4K Ultra HD 30p recording, a 20x optical zoom lens, and a wide 29.3 angle of view, making it a great camera overall. The intelligent 5-axis image stabilization ensures that the video quality is not shaky. Generally, the Vixia HFG50 is compact and easy to handle. Number 10. Panasonic Lumix S5 The Panasonic S5 comes a very very close second to the Fujifilm X-T4 with its impressive video and photo capabilities. In fact, as far as full-frame cameras go, this is probably the best value you can get. It benefits from a smaller build than the Panasonic S1 but uses the same 24-megapixel CMOS sensor. Its autofocus has been improved, it features a tough, weather-resistant body and has 6.5 stops of in-body stabilization so that even handheld video is smooth. It's capable of recording 4K view at 60p, 4.2.0-10-bit internally with an APS-C crop or 4K at 30p, 4.2.2 using the entire sensor. For stills photographers, it offers a high-resolution shooting mode that combines 8 shots into a 96MP image resulting in RAW files that are 165 megabits in size. The Lumix S1 and the Lumix S1H might have been Panasonic's first leap into full-frame mirrorless cameras but we think the Lumix S5 is much more exciting, especially for the price. The one downside is that it uses Contrast Detect AF rather than Face Detect AF which is what the Sony a7 III and Canon EOS R6 use but there are lots of features that make it a great choice for shooting 4K video. Number 9. Canon EOS C300 MK2 with an ideal array of ports, features and modes to help you capture excellent footage, the C300 MK2 is a good few steps up from a DSLR or mirrorless camera that happens to shoot video. It's able to handle low-light video like a champ, and unlike most consumer Canon cameras you won't be grumping about its 4K capabilities, the C300 MK2 captures UHD content at up to 410 megabits per second 10-bit. Dynamic range is excellent at 15 stops, as too is its continuous autofocus, one thing the C300 MK2 does share with its sub-$2,000-$2,000 $2, siblings. In a break from tradition, it takes either EF or PL lenses, and the lens fitting can be swapped out at an approved service center. Number 8. Sony FDR-AX43. The FDR-AX43 may be compact but it doesn't skimp on features. Fronted by a Carl Zeiss Vario Sonar T lens, the AX43's niceties include a 10x optical zoom, 4K shooting, the Longoise Exmer R CMOS sensor, and dual video recording in Zafkas or AVC HD, plus easy to share MP4. For those who want convincing surround sound when playing back their footage into a home cinema or sound bar, there's also a multi-channel 5.1 microphone. Expect limitations in low light, but if you're looking for an easy to manage but capable 4K shooter, then this model is a fantastic choice, and that balance between functionality, portability, and price is why in our favorite 4K camcorder. Number 7 Fujifilm X-T4 The world's attention seems focused on full-frame cameras right now, but the X-T4 is a much cheaper proposition while also boasting very advanced 4K video capabilities. These include the capacity to shoot 4K video at up to 60p, for a smooth 2x slow motion effect. Not only that, it can also capture the slightly wider cinema 4K format at the same speeds. There's more. 
Most 4K cameras capture 8-bit video internally to memory cards, but the X-T4 can capture higher quality 10-bit video internally and, if you connect an external recorder, it can save video at a higher 4,2,2 color sampling quality. The big step forward with the X-T4, however, is the new in-body stabilization, which can reduce or eliminate the need for a gimbal, especially when used alongside the digital image stabilization system. For all-round size, performance, power, and price, the X-T4 is hard to beat. Number 6. Fujifilm X-S10. We had the cheaper X-T200 in our list of the best vlogging cameras for some time, but we decided to swap it out for the newer X-S10. The Fujifilm X-S10 doesn't have the external exposure controls of the higher-level X-series cameras, but it's clear this is no amateur camera as its build quality and handling stand out straight away. The swap to a conventional mode dial might disappoint Fujifilm fans, but the excellent finish, build quality, and handling in the inclusion of IVIS gives this camera a very broad appeal, especially in this price sector, to produce perhaps the best combination of performance, quality, and value in the APS-C mirrorless camera market right now. It even has a Bari angle rear screen in this, combined with the XS10's in-body stabilization in 4K video, makes it a great vlogging camera. Number 5. Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III. One of the biggest bugbears vloggers and video makers have with Canon is the crop factor when shooting 4K on many of its cameras, but the G7X Mark III bucks the trend, thank goodness. This high-end compact packs a similar body in an identical lens to the G7X Mark II, but includes a new sensor and no 4K crop. It was also the first camera of its kind with a microphone input, vital if you want clean audio, not to mention the ability to live stream straight to YouTube. This means that even if you've got an expensive cinema camera, if you also have a G7X Mark III you can create a fuss-free live setup without any expensive capture cards and a PC. With its flip-out screen, the G7X3 also gives vloggers a clear view of themselves when they shoot, and thanks to its 20.1 MP 1-inch staff CMOS sensor and Digigate processor it's also able to capture great stills, so your custom thumbnails can pop nicely. Number 4. Insta360 ONE X2. Dot this is a relatively new way to shoot and share video, but it's really catching on. Streaming. Whether it's to Facebook or YouTube or some other video sharing platform, is sharing video live, as you shoot it, whether that's out in the field or in front of your computer hooked up to a camera. Things are changing quickly, as camera makers realize the popularity of streaming and add streaming features or updates to their cameras. Streaming from a phone is the simplest solution, but if you want a proper camera, we've a suggestion below, but it's only one of many. Number 3. DJI Mini 2. Dot when DJI bought out the DJI Mavic Mini in 2016 it opened up the drone market to camera enthusiasts who didn't want the hassle of getting a pilot license. While the Mavic Mini took away the weight issue, it was missing a few key features that made it geared more towards video than photography such as raw shooting. The latest DJI Mini 2 combines the compact size of the Mavic Mini with improved video and shooting modes. Mounted on a 3-axis gimbal that absorbs all the twists and turns in flight, the video is incredibly smooth and professional looking. It also now has the ability to shoot raw stills which makes recovering highlights and shadows in post much easier. The device is operated via a controller you sync up with your phone so that you can view the camera image. The DJI Fly app is easy to use and includes excellent safety features such as return to home. Number 2. GoPro Hero 10 Black. Dot welcome to the newest and best GoPro around. Though launched without much fanfare and looking identical to the Hero 9 Black in almost every way, the Hero 10 Black is nevertheless a significant upgrade. That's all down to its use of the all-new GP2 processor, which powers a speedy user interface, doubles the frame rates and fuels the best image stabilization tech yet. The highlight is 5.3K video with 60 frames per second, but don't underestimate the usefulness of GoPro's new HyperSmooth 4.0 video stabilization, in all modes, alongside 23MP photos and best-ever low-light performance.
Add an FD cable for super quick camera to app content transfer and auto upload of videos and photos to the cloud while it recharges and the Hero 10 Black was worth the wait. If you're after. Number 1. Apple iPhone 13 Pro. Though its camera improvements may be fairly modest when compared to the iPhone 12 Pro, the iPhone 13 Pro still sports some worthwhile upgrades. There's a useful new macro mode along with an improvement to low-light shooting with the ultra-wide camera. New picture styles are worth experimenting with, while the cinematic video mode is a clever feature and nice to have if you're a budding movie maker. As for camera hardware, Apple has gone for a triple lens setup on the iPhone 13 Pro, giving us a standard, ultra-wide and telephoto lens. We have the same focal lengths for the 26mm standard lens, and 13mm ultra-wide optic but the telephoto lens has been extended to a 3x offering, compared with the iPhone 12 Pro's 2x lens. The iPhone 12 Pro is still an excellent phone for video if you want to save yourself a bit of money as prices have recently dropped.